What's going on everybody out there This is CMP JP From CMPRadio.net And you are now watching Chester T-H-E-S-T-E-R With Chester makes Makes Chester And we're going far, far. Stand Stand up. Up. Coming together And using our voice Stand To up. let you know Change is a choice It's a Chester flow Can't buy Can't rent it If you're rocking With your city Stand up Represent it Chester flow If you love it Let us show Everybody, thank you for tuning in. We are here in the Visions Video Studio. I am here with the founder of CMP Radio, JP, is in the house. Hey, man, how you doing? How you feeling? <laughs> I am great. I'm, I'm here. You know, when people are grinding, you love that energy. It's like, come on, let's rub off. Let's, let's rub. do this. Yeah, let's, let's, let's rub together and <laughs> cause some friction. Set a fire somewhere. Listen, let the world see it, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now you've been doing radio for some time now, but what? How? Why did you get started doing radio? Oh man, listen, uh, I graduated Chester High ninety seven, class of ninety seven in the whoop, house. Whoop. I know we got to get them things together with ninety seven. We not like ninety nine, but whoop. listen, we love each other anyway. <laughs> but uh, yeah, graduated in ninety seven, man. I went to college, and you know, I wanted to be a physical therapist at first. In the college I went to, I was playing basketball. And the coach said, yo, you can't do biology and, and play basketball at the same time, so change your major. So I went back to my room and thought about what I wanted to do. I said, man, I always wanted to be a sports journalist. If, if playing basketball doesn't work out, I can always be a sports journalist. So picked up communications, man, and I fell in love with it. You know, I fell in love with radio, um, and I tried to be on the radio station at the college, and my grandma fell and broke her femur, and I came home. Like, that was my baby. Like, she raised me, so it was like I came home. And uh, college was a uh, uh, college went past real quick, you know. It was like, nah, I can't do this. I started working and, and things like that. I started making money, and I always tell everybody, once you start making money, it's you hard. It's hard to go back to college. It's like, no, I'm making money. This is why I'm going to college to make money. Right. I'd be a fool to go to not make money. Yes. So, started making money, and that was it. And then like life just passed by. You know, kids got married. You know, played in the streets, got in trouble, <laughs> and um. Just one day, I, I I was trying to just figure out who I was, and and it was like I went to I went to a therapist, sat down, shout out to Leroy Ambrose, man, I sat down with him, and we were talking, and he was just like, you know, what do you wanna, what did you wanna be when you grew up? No, what he's asked me, what do you wanna be when you grow up? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm grown. What you mean? He's like, no, you're still stuck when you picked up that pack. You're still stuck at that age. I said, man, come on. He's like, no, think about your behavior. Like you make childish be- decisions. And I thought about it, and I said, I wanted to be a sports journalism. He's a journalist. He said, well, go do it. I said, uh, that's going to cost money. I don't want to go back to school. He's like, man, technology today. He's like, pick up your phone, Google, Vine, all these people. They didn't go to college to, to, to give advice and to say things. He's like, you can do it. So I sat back, and I thought about it, and I was going through a divorce at the time. And I'm like, man, I don't know. No, nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm too old. Like, I can't do it. And uh, a friend of mine sat there and told me I could drink. You know, she she told me it was okay. It's like it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be hard, but uh, you can dream again. So I was like, all right, man, I'm a dream. And it was crazy because the next day I ran into uh, Purple Queen and Tommy. P, shout out to PQ Radio One. That's where it got started, right? That's where the bug hit me. And and they were out of they they were doing it out of their house. And they said, come by, man, watch a show. And I watched Maserati ran. He had a show at the time. Him and uh, T K. And they had a show. And I was like, yo, man, I don't really want to do this, man. Like. All right, cool. So I, I guest host on the Tommy show, uh, the No Q Tommy show, and I did that for about three months. And then uh, we they moved up Philly, and I wanted my own show. So the show was supposed to be called the No Filter Show. Got it tatted on me. Every show, every show that got anything to do with radio is tatted on me. My whole life is on me. If you want to know my life story? Read me. Look at Read my, me. Look, look at my body, man. Honestly. And uh was up there and and everything was going good but i just didn't speak philadelphia and um started another show one of my own shows just me and him on a no filter show and uh me him chuck b and i wanted my own show and i'm like all right man listen we're gonna do this so called the revolutionary minds it was me uh a friend of mine jazz rome brianna elise and fatima and um all right man we and dj wayne stacks can't forget dj wayne stacks Took the photos, got it ready. It's actually the anniversary today, two year anniversary today of when we took the photos and started promoting the show. And it was it was it was amazing. It was an amazing feeling. It really felt good. But it just didn't feel like home. I was in Philly. I didn't speak Philadelphia and it's like Nah, nah. So uh Chuck came through, he had guest uh 
He had guest DJ for Wayne, and he came through, and he was like, yo, bro, anything you need? I said, I can hold you to that. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, man, anything you need? A couple of days went past, and we then people started to fall off. So I had to find new talent to come up there. And shout out to Chucky Johnson, man. He's doing a lot of stand-up right now. Shout out to him. And Cedric Palmer also doing stand-up. They came on the show with me, man. They held it down for me. And it was like, man. Chucky was like, yo, call, call, call Chuck, man. I said, man, I don't, I, I want to do it myself. He said, call Chuck, man. If you wanted to get done, call him and tell him what you're trying to do. Picked up the phone, called Chuck. We had lunch at his favorite restaurant, the Upland Diner. Shout out, to, shout out to the Upland Diner. <laughs> That's the, we plugging them, so I definitely want a free meal when they see me. But Chuck always in there, man. We ate there. I told him what I wanted to do. No hesitation. When I tell you absolutely no hesitation, Amanda. And it felt good, right? He believes in me. He didn't know I was going to go this hard, though. Like, he didn't know I was going to push it this hard. He probably thought we was going to do a little radio and I was going to show up for the show and barely be there. But, no, I, it, it was bigger It was bigger than just a show to me. It was it was everybody being involved in a community affair. And I really want a low-power antenna. Like, I really want a low-power antenna. We just started a, a non-profit, uh, CMP Radio Foundation. Shout out Congrats. to Shout out to Andrew. Andrew for that, man. And, um, yeah, man, growth every day, man. Exponential growth, right? I don't I, – nothing is beyond – my reach right now you know what i mean and i, I really believe it. and i really think it, it, it's going to be awesome but that's fast forwarding right <laughs> no um, it's listen <laughs> around the corner you just don't know when you right. put it out in the atmosphere right things things happen and um so me and chuck sat there and uh was like all right man you want to do it yeah so all the research trying to figure out what equipment to use what microphones to buy this building you know what i mean and he said he said bro go ahead and do it call me when you're ready so called him i said look i got the plan he was like, you ready? I said, yeah. I told uh, Purple Queen and Tommy. They were very supportive. You know, they knew everything that I was trying to do with, with the radio station and who I was trying to become. And um, they were supportive. And he was like, all right, bro, go ahead, do your thing. You know, and they taught me They taught me a lot about the business. And, and shout out to PQ Radio 1, man. Like, Purple been doing it for a minute. She has. She got and she's she been season. grinding. And Tommy, with no question, he been grinding for a minute. So, you know, shout out to them, man. And. She had a baby and came right, and came, back. And came like, right you back. You know what? Go, girl. All pistols firing. So you know, like I said, I, I just, I just really, I, I started to understand that in radio, you know, if you don't have a real passion for it, you're not gonna stick around. You know what I mean? And I don't hold that. It's gonna fizzle out real quick. I don't hold anybody accountable and be like, oh man, you you flaked out on me. It just wasn't for you. You know, we tried it. It didn't work. And I, when I I tell people all the time, they be like, man, I might have to get a new, or I might have to get. The, it's gonna happen. It's going to happen. And and you can't really blame them for that. They still friends. I still love every last person that started with me. You know what I mean? But, you know, you're going to go into different rooms and you're going to have a new set of friends in every different room you go in. And it's okay. And people still might fall off. And you got to think about it. Do you ride around with a flat tire? No, you change it. You change your tire. When that tire is out of right. air, they can't go any further. Right. You just you change, change it. it. You just change your tire. So, yeah. So, for everything that we've done and we've been here, we've been doing this for 18 months. And then today... Is our 18 month anniversary. Happy you know what I mean? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I got all these dates. Everybody like two years for this, 18 months for that. But it's just like it just shows you how fast things can change. Because three years ago, I was sitting in 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 purple and and, and Tommy living room watching their show, and CMP wasn't wasn't in my head yet. You know, and then I got on the microphone and we started talking. I said, man, every day I'm continuously making progress. And I was like, CMP. And I just stored it in the back. You know what I mean? I stored it in the back. And it was it, it, it was it, it was so, such a relief when Chuck told me, man, he believed in me, man. He said, I believe in you, bro, so we can do this. And I was like, all right. And like I said, if, if words of affirmation, I've learned that. That's my love language. So if you tell me I can do something, Let's go. I'm going to get it done. I, prom I'm a, I promise you I'm going to get it done. And then if you tell me I can't do nothing, I'm not going to move. <laughs> You can't do that. Let's yeah, you see, might be right. See. Yeah, we gonna. I'm no. You really might be right. I'm not moving. I, I, but to have partners, Chuck, Joel, you know that that do what they do, and then it's my job to do what I do. And and some people might say, "Man, you do everything." I'm supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Because I because I have a passion for, it, and they have a passion for supporting me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we right. gonna keep rocking. Joel just redid the uh, the website. I didn't know it was National Women's Month. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, so right? so, now, so now I know. So it's like we we leave out of February, and here we are in March. So the website is up to date. You know, Chuck makes sure our music is straight. You feel me? And I just make sure everything else is good. 
Everything else is it's good. Just, so we work. It's inspiring it's to hear this. Right. Because a lot of people think that this is an overnight thing, but it's a process. No, no. no. And just to be able to come from where you came from and, and see the... the continually making progress, progress part right, right, is still right. happening right. that is awesome so we're going to do right now we're going to take a break and then we're going to come back and talk about cmpradio.net be right go. back can you even smoke in here i don't know i gotta look at the lease papers lenny when the landlord gonna get here we missed them watching them dumbass bikes so he came and then left yeah the I know you ain't just like no match on the old head. We should go for something. So I ain't gonna put my hands on you. Relax, Dre. Just go to your room. Still trying to fill out an application if y'all still hiring. I'm hiring. Nah, Dre, you and me, he don't need that type of job. You the new boy who moved on B Street, right? Cause I like you now. Oh yeah? And when it rain, you do the drop. And I'ma get a bike and some shoes. Yeah, now don't mess that up. What? Polo, I know you don't got that boy out here selling. You ain't take nothing to Dre's, did you? How much you got left for me? Had to show little man how the game goes. Got how much left? Yo, good brothers and sisters. I'm your host, good brother Mark from the Good Brother Talk with my brother from a different mother. Good brother E. Our show is all about spreading positivity, having fun, talking about those real topics, getting down and dirty with it, but also do it with a purpose. And if you have any topics that you would like to discuss, feel free to come on in, get in touch with good brother Marvin and myself, or call the show, or come on in. We'll love you, have you on the show. You can reach us on Facebook on our Good Brother page, Good Brother Talk. You can check us out on our Instagram page, Good Brother Talk, also cmpradio.net. If you have a phone, because you don't do social network, you can hit us up on the Live 365 app. You can tune in to us every Sunday from 12 to 2. Every Sunday from 12 to 2. Come on and join your brothers. Until then, continue to spread the positivity. Peace. Hey everybody, thank you. We are back. We are here in the studio with one of the founders of CMP Radio, Mr. JP. So talk to us about what's going on at CMP Radio. Well, CMP is, is growing every day. I mean, um, the goal is to get a low power antenna. The goal is to be on the FM dial or the AM dial or, or any any dial or, or even satellite radio. That's the goal. That's what we're pushing for. Uh, but right now, you know, we got we got 13 shows, man. Monday, we, we jam-packed with shows. We got the morning meeting Monday through Friday, me and Alpha T on that. Yes, got radio, JR Kicks, Keys to Success. You know, Tuesday, we got uh, King and Queen talk, Queen and King talk. Uh, Wednesdays, Chop It Up Wednesdays, Thursday, Parental Advisory, Living With a Purpose. <laughs> Friday, Feel Good talk, uh, Mackie Vibes with uh, DJ Robbie Mack. Saturdays, the ripple effect. Got a couple, and we got some new shows coming. Sundays, Good Brother Talk, Sisters, and a uh, hour with Polo, Buck King, and Sade. I'm trying to get them to come up right. with a name. Right? <laughs> if they add anybody else, it's just gonna be an hour with all these people, right? With them, right? With them, <laughs> an hour with CMP them. and friends, right? See, yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. But uh, Man, the sky's the limit, man. Like I said, uh, a couple more shows coming soon. Uh, Cola Thompson and uh, Miss Ashley Stewart. Okay. Right, right, right. They're supposed to be doing a fashion show. So, like I said, it's just it's so much potential in this city, and 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 we're capable of so much. I just just want people to hear it and see it. I think the repetition of words 
increases your uh, your worth. Okay. You know what I mean? So since you were actually doing radio in Philly mm-hmm. initially, why did you bring it back to Chester? Because I'm not from Philly. I didn't speak Philadelphia. I speak Chesterian. So facts, it originated here. The hoagie originated here. I was just at Deacon's stands uh-oh, of the day. Uh-oh. Right, right, right. I'm not, Listen, I ain't, it's Chester versus everybody. So it stands was on Third Street, yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Um, but I just, it just didn't feel like, okay, uh, <clears throat> Purple would say, oh, man, you can start going to the city council and talking to the mayor. I got my own mayor. I don't care about what Kenny up here doing. Like that don't that don't affect me. I need to go talk to Thad. You know what I mean? Like you go to city council. I got my own city council. So it just didn't seem didn't feel like home. And 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 I said, all right, yeah, we gotta get we gotta get home. And my people need this. They need to hear this. And it was, you know how hard it is to get guests from all Chester the all the way to Philly. Like it, and if they if they really don't see a benefit. And come into your, your situation And they're not gonna come And it's just like Oh man come on bro Like I'll pick you up mm-hmm. Alright how long We gotta be up there Well right. if I pick you up You gotta stay till the show is over Till the show is over like, I can't end the show Bring you home and come back Like it, it can't happen like that But yeah uh, Nothing against Philly At all But it just It just didn't feel like home to me. Okay So when you decided You know I'm gonna take this step I'm gonna get my partners with me what was the process for somebody that you know is starting a business or just something new in general just what was a thought process what were some of the things you had to do within yourself to even position your mind to start this and lock it in research so i was i was working a job you know i was a chemical operator and i was writing down notes for the station I was coming up with little things and um Boss walked up. The machine was down. Cleaned my area. Everything was good. I didn't have to do anything. Just jot down some notes. Is that work related? I said no. Actually, it's not. He was like, "Well, we don't pay you to do uh, personal stuff on on company time." He walked away. I closed the book. He walked away. And as I'm writing, I'm seeing uh, I have written a book. Find more time for yourself. So I got up, walked in the office, and told him. I said, "This is gonna be my last day." He said, what? I said, yeah, I'm not, I, I give you my time. I sell you my time, right? And right now I need to put more time into something that, that's keeping me up at night. Because I would get off work at 11 o'clock and I would be up until 5 o'clock in the morning just researching and going on Google and trying to find out the best equipment and how ready and what app to use or what, what, what program to use. And it was, it was driving me crazy. And I would go to work and it just didn't feel like I was really doing anything. Like the zombie thing. Right, like right. I'm here. I'm just here to do my job and go home. But while I'm here, I'm trying to find out CMP. I'm trying to find out this radio station that I want to start. And like I said, we didn't know the name. We It was there, but I didn't want to make it like, oh, here, this is the name of it. So. It was, a, it, was, it, was, it was rough. It was rough to be able to say I'm walking away from a good job. And that was a good job. And I was making good money and to walk away from that job and, and say, listen, I'm going to put all my eggs in this basket and I really don't care if it breaks because I've never done that before. I've never, I've been content with just doing it. So it sounded like you had to call the bluff of the person who thought he had had, had you on a string. No, I ain't had to call his bluff. I just didn't care. At that, <laughs> at that point, it wasn't even a call his bluff. Like he didn't call me back in the office to say anything. He was hurt because he called me the next day, but it was just like, no. Like I, I have to find time, find time for the things that I want, and and the radio station was something that I felt as though my city deserved. Communication is the key. I believe that uh, in a community, communication and unity makes a community. So if we're not talking, like if we're not talking, we can't have any unity. It can't. It's not going to work. No cohesive partnership. So that is true because if you're not telling me what you need, I can't tell you if I got it at all, at all. So the platform, tell us the platform that you're providing with CMP Radio. Well, we actually have we have two apps right now. Um, we have the Live 365, well, three. Live 365, and we're still using TuneIn. But we just came up, we just partnered with Best Core. And Best Core has been doing radio, uh, I want to say, for about four, four, three, four years. Yeah. Right? And um, he just was like, yo, man, I, I, I ain't, I don't, uh. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, he's like you. I I, I feel Let's like work together. man. I it. I feel like this is what you're doing, and and I said, all right, cool. So the app and it just plays R&B music, right? Because I feel like R&B is 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 good music for people just to vibe out. It's like WDAS. 
So if CMP on Facebook is your Power 99 and giving you everything the right way, uh, the app is our 105.3. So I'm hoping that uh hoping that you grace the the station with your early Do morning you inspiration on on Sundays because that was all when I was listening through everything that he had on there I was like wow this is amazing the way she she oh she do radio <laughs> Amanda do radio too don't let it fool you you feel me she, it's not just what's your point of view and chest of view like uh, it was fun because it's just like you get to put your mind right. out there for for an hour or right. so and right. then you gotta bring it back and bring and bring it back so don't don't get it twisted right she's she's <laughs> Ambidextrous, right, right hand and left hand. But this talent is all right. in the community. This, this and this is a a very talented community, and it's full of so many people. And it's this. I think this is actually the first time in the history of Chester that people are actually working together, supporting each other. And it's not it's not seen as, and they like to say it's not being Joe, and it's not even I can't cuss, but it's not even riding. You know what word comes with for the riding, right? It's not even that. It's actually people supporting each other, patronizing. Yeah. And and we were talking last week about support. What does support look like? And I'm like, well, you don't support Walmart. You don't support Wawa. You don't support Burger King or Wendy's. These places you don't support. But if you had a business, I would walk in there. I'm saying, oh, I'm just going to support Amanda. Well, I don't want you to support me. Mm. I really want you to patronize me the same way. You don't think about it when you go to Wawa. Mm. I need this. I have to go here. Don't say, oh, yeah, I'm riding past. Oh, Amanda sell food. Oh, let me go support her. That's corny. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So don't mm -hmm. stop. Let's drop the support and let's just patronize and know if it's food to be bought. There are several people that sell food. Shout out to 71 Catering. You know, there, there are several people. Nafisa has her pizza. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is what we need. We need to provide the services that we want to ourselves. You know what I mean? And no longer have to outsource those things so I, I really love what's going on in the city right now man i love the positivity that's being shared got to, got to keep it going got to keep yeah, it yeah. growing and keep it going i don't i don't i don't think uh i don't think it's going to stop because it's, it's too many people you never had it has momentum now you never had this 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 media push the radio station video visions pro to push positivity really you have facebook to push all the negativity you know what I mean? And and I was just talking with my uncle the other day, and he was sitting there. He was like, yo, he's like, how long do you think the war on drugs been going on? I said, about 30 years. He's like, that's not a war, bro. Like, wars don't last that long. That's just systemic racism at its best. Here I am. I'm going to stop you from having everything you need. Your education is jacked up. Your resources is jacked up. You're not getting. The community is jacked up. And, and now I got you right where I want you. But then y'all start talking to each other. Oh, what y'all doing over there? Like, why, why y'all? What y'all doing over there in that corner? Like, we working with each other. We're we're applauding each other. We're congratulating each other. We're crying for each other when bad things happen. And that's the only way we're gonna get any better in this community, man. Is is to share that village. We gotta get back to that village that mindset. Village and we're getting there. Absolutely, we're getting there. And I think as we continue to do it, it's gonna catch on. More people are gonna come in, and the village is gonna get bigger and bigger Absolutely. and bigger. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate your time oh, and your conversation. You know, I, can talk. <laughs> I know I we can, can keep it flowing because when you when you talk about good stuff, you can keep talking for a while. Right, right, so can. give people that that information again to get on CMP Radio. So you can download the app CMP Radio. Check us out on Live365. Type in cmpradio.net. Search it. Mark it as your favorite. Tune in. Type in cmpradio.net. Search it. Mark it as your favorite. Go to cmpradio.net. Go to our website. Check us out, man. You can click on the Live365. You can watch us on YouTube, CMP Radio. Listen, to CMP everywhere, man. Just make sure you check us out, man. We're not going to forget you. Chester, we love you. And we're going to keep on growing, man. That's what we're going to do. Yes, they got a lot of good shows, more shows coming. So I'm sure you'll find a show that, that you can you. love and enjoy. Absolutely. And we like we patronize. Yep. Look, there's a difference between patronize and support. So yep. Yep. make sure you check in, right. check out CMP Radio. And thank you. See you next time. Peace. 
Hey, hey, everyone. It's your girl, Portia P. from Sisters. Catch me Sundays, 3 to 5, only on cmpradio.net. Sisters, we talk a little bit about everything. We have gospel for you, gospel news. We talk about our won't he do it segment and our girl talk. So make sure you tune in. That's right. Sundays, 3 to 5, only on cmpradio.net. That's right here, sexy, beautiful jazz. And everybody gotta hustle. And this is mine. Up on me saying the money ain't there, man. Nigga, I got dollar running up on you. Got black. Who did this to you? There's something going on with Jada we need to know about. The fuck happened with you and black? What you waiting for, nigga? Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. 
Ajustei ela aqui, 